Uh, Forrest, you you talk a lot about science. What what's your professional credentials in so the field I, uh, of science? Yeah, so I'm yeah. I'm what's called a science communicator or an informal science educator. Um, I hold degrees in education, general biology, integrative biology with an organism at concentration, uh, which. I could go into a long detail about what that means, but I'm not going to right now. Uh, it, long story short, I study lots and lots of different kinds of biology and other sciences as well in order to get a bigger picture, kind of holistic approach of what life is and how life works. Uh, mm -hmm. And now I'm a grad student finishing a master's in bioanthropology, specifically studying human evolution, um, doing research in paleoecological reconstruction, uh, understanding ancient ecosystems and using uh, stabilized dope analysis to rebuild them. And uh, yeah, I, I just, know some of those words. Yeah, <laughs> science yeah, is just my sure. life, man. I've been teaching it and studying it for like a decade, and I'm I'm stoked to death anytime I get the opportunity to share it with somebody. So that those are my credentials. Just a long time of being a huge freaking nerd. <laughs> a long time being nerd. Well, I could I could say that about myself too, but my nerdiness is probably not as productive as your nerdiness. So that that would be a big difference, I'd say. Um, less time playing video games on your part, I imagine, and more time staying <laughs> up reading um, textbooks and writing papers. So good for it's, you. It, oh, you're <laughs> spot on. It's, it's, it's hard. No spot on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you have made a splash on YouTube and TikTok. You, you make a lot of videos about all kinds of stuff. I want to talk to you a little bit about your recent well, you do the series on creationism which yeah. is really interesting so what inspired you to talk about creationism and and what's your what's your well how, how do you feel about it you think it's a good <laughs> you, you you're you're in support you know, broad support of man, creationism you right? might be surprised to find that i'm not a fan oh uh, okay just, i'm not into it i uh yeah i i've started on tiktok and uh, just teaching all the science that i love so much and I'm a biologist, so especially teaching about biology, and I, I study evolution specifically, so talking about evolution and getting people excited about it. And uh, one day, my fiance and I were, were just hearing yet another, you know, uh, person prattling on about how evolution makes no sense because you can't turn rocks into humans, and that's what <laughs> evolution says. And right. my, and uh, I was just going off about it, and uh, she she pointed out, I was like, you know, you should absolutely record yourself reacting to these things and let you know, let people hear why these things are wrong. And that was the first episode of my uh, most popular series on YouTube, which is called Reacteria, uh, reacting to anti-science claims, which was going to be all sorts of anti-science claims, but has really largely become about creationism because a lot of other anti-science claims aren't quite as harmful uh, and quite as aggressively weird, but, mm -hmm. you know, and just not as fun. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about that. What makes creationism in particular so harmful? Because obviously there's a lot of, like, bad ideas or untrue ideas out there, but, like, why creation? Why is creationism so nefarious, like, in particular? Yeah. Uh, there's a few reasons. Um, because it, with, with any kind of pseudoscience, any kind of uh, anti-science, um, we have people like Flat Earth, or uh, mm -hmm. uh, talking about chemtrails or talking about the the dome over the world and how we've never been to space and all these different things. Yeah. Those are problematic because it sows distrust in science and it teaches people yeah. that it's okay that if you if you can ask a question about something, that means that it's wrong and and that, you know, there's no reason to believe in it. Uh, and that's that's a problem in and of itself. But with creationism, it becomes especially problematic because when you don't understand evolution, you can't understand a lot of big issues. Modern medicine, for example, is based on evolution. If you don't understand evolution, you can't cure disease. You just can't. Um, there's a reason why it is the central theme of all biology. But also, it mm -hmm. puts people on a pedestal where they don't belong. If you believe that you are, you know, uh, this this specially created thing that's different from everybody else, uh, then you're going to act that way. And you're going to act like you own this planet and you own everything on it and you're superior to everything on it. And if you yeah. pollute the oceans and, and set the forest on fire, not me, but the other ones, uh, uh, right. and, and do whatever else it, to, to, that's destructive, then that's totally fine because it's your planet to do with what you will. Um, yeah. And that's, that's deeply problematic. Also, a, a big issue with it is that it leads to, you know, people believing that they're the special ones. We see this a yep. lot when we talk about creationist claims is people say, well, you know, I'm I'm the special kind of human. I'm the one that was made for it. It's not just religious creationism. I get this a lot with people who talk about how aliens made us. You'd be surprised. Yep. 
Yep. Just how often people try to talk about that one. Uh, Forrest, like, Forrest, I promise you, I, I would not be as surprised as you think. I would not <laughs> I be as surprised this, as you think. With this yeah. show, you might be right. Yeah. But just like I get this all the time. It's like, hey, I, I'm the special kind of human. I'm the best kind. Uh, yeah. And so it's there's there's a lot of ramifications to it. And I'm sure that the average everyday creationist would hear this and think that I'm overreacting. But I promise you I am not. Uh, I, it's, it's, you're right, though. You, you, there's some good things that they're like, like, like. I don't think people realize how deep it really goes compared to other stuff, right? Like the wedge issue stuff, right? We're talking about people yeah. actually putting creationism into textbooks, into schools, right? Like the flat earth people, yeah, they got their conferences, but they're not trying to change the textbooks at school, right? Like yeah. that's not on anybody's agenda. That is actually on the agenda for a lot of state public institutions, which is yeah. crazy to think about if you're outside of the United States. But in the U.S. here, like that is a big deal. And some parts of Canada as well for the homeschool curriculum um, yeah. and some other various places as well. We, but that's we a big stickers. thing. We have stickers yeah. on public school textbooks in a lot of states that say, warning, this contains evidence or uh, information about evolution and evolution is just a theory and you shouldn't take it. And like, if, if that's how you're going to treat this, if you're going to teach kids that this is just a theory and you don't have to believe it if you don't want to. If you have bills like we have in Oklahoma right now, there's a bill being uh, introduced that says that uh, uh, a student's parents can sue the teacher for $10,000 if they teach anything that goes against their religious beliefs. That's seriously problematic. And it makes you yeah. wonder, why why don't they do that any other time? Why aren't they talking about, hey, we're going to talk yeah. about plate tectonics today, but remember plate tectonics is just a theory. Cells yeah. are just yeah. a theory. Germs are just a theory. It's because that would be crazy. This is the only time when we're allowed to do this, and that's a problem. Yeah, in, in Texas here, it was like a year or two ago, we, we passed the thing putting Moses in the textbooks um, as a historical yeah. figure, which is which is really fun. But yeah, it's it's pretty bad when it comes to our public education. But you mentioned another thing that I don't think people talk about enough, which is the environmental impact of a belief like this. Like people yeah. who have vested like economic interests in um, the exploitation of our natural resources, like they're not going to care either way. But the people who vote on these issues, yeah. right, which is like a broad Christian public, like they genuinely draw upon, like they, they'll, they'll cite that verse in Genesis that talks about how God gave man dominion over animals and of the earth and stuff and say, well, that exactly. means we can do whatever the fuck we want. And it's like, well, exactly. actually, we live on a planet with finite resources, turns out, and we have to kind of like deal with that as a, a collective society if we're going to like continue to use it. But unfortunately, you know, there's these People that don't feel the same way. And part of that is because they have a view of history and a view of the future that says we're all going to get torn up in the rapture in like a yeah. couple of years anyway. But in the past as well, as far as this is what the earth is, this is what's created for, and we're using it for the purposes that God intended, which – you know, is something we would not agree. Well, with. that's that, that's exactly what I was going to bring up as well. When you're yeah. talking about, you know, people's uh, uh, belief about like biblical creationism, especially yeah. is that, you know, that involves this idea of the rapture. And right now uh, we have a brown. I think the numbers off the top of my head uh, around 40 to 44 percent of American adults. Yeah. genuinely believe that within yep. the next 50 years, Jesus, the clouds are going to part and Jesus is going to come down and end the whole world. And so the question with that, because people say, oh, why do you want to let me believe what I want to believe? Well, mm -hmm. if you move into a new house and the, 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 the house is absolutely you know pristine and beautiful, but you're told, hey, in a couple of weeks, we're going to tear the whole thing down. Are you going to work hard to take care of it? Are you going to work hard to keep the floors nice? Are you going to work hard not to break the the, the bed and to, to shatter the rafters? You're going to have fun and do whatever you want if you think that it doesn't matter. And so if you have 44% of the country who believes that it doesn't matter, that in 50 years or less, that this whole world's not going to be here anymore and it doesn't matter anyway, why would they care about climate change? Why would they care about systemic issues like racism and hunger and poverty? Why would they try to fix anything if all we're doing is sitting here waiting by the phone, just checking our watches? Oh, any minute now, it'll all any be gone. Second. We're going to get out of here. Die? Yeah, so, it's yeah, true. It's, it's true. I, I care less because I, I, I'm a little more hopeless that we're, we're not going to be able to fix this <laughs> stuff. But that's that's different from believing that I'm going to be magically lifted into the sky or whatever, like in that Nicolas Cage that's movie. Just, that's just healthy depression. Everybody's got right. it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what that is. 
Um, but no, you're right. It's 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 weird. It's weird people's attitudes. Now you were saying 44 percent earlier, and I said yeah because I thought you were going to talk about the statistic that says what percentage of America believes in creationism, and it, I believe like BioLogos, which is an organization that teaches like evolution but also Christianity. Like I think they mm -hmm. did a survey, and they said like somewhere around at least a third of Americans believe in young earth specifically and then yeah. more so believe in not young earth but still believe god created the earth and some other things which yeah. um is much bigger than other countries i should point yeah, out the, most of the, the world Venn does diagram not on these numbers it's yeah like purple. it's yeah it's tough. very very weird and interesting to see 